What's going on, folks, and welcome to the first ever episode of my new series titled Streamer Struggles, where we'll be talking about the many struggles that streamers go through. And while some of these are going to be things that affect all things in life, we're going to be targeting streaming specifically and how to approach them, fix them, and deal with them. So, with that being said, let's get into the very first topic, which is going to be consistency. So first I want to talk about why does consistency matter? Well, Aristotle put it pretty perfectly when he said, we are what we repeatedly do. AKA, when you do things, you can build habits if you do them repeatedly over a period of time, and therefore those habits become things that you really thrive on in life. They can be good habits or bad habits, but in this case, we're gonna focus on the good habits of building consistency. Now, how does building consistently help you as a streamer? Well, it gives your viewers a bit of knowledge of when they can find you, when you'll be live, how frequently are you live, when can they depend on seeing your streams, which is very important to getting them to come back. In addition, this shows seriousness. This shows that you're dedicated to pursuing streaming, and therefore, it gives you just a different image to your viewers. They're gonna be like, this person is real, they're about this, and they may wanna support you even further. They may stick around a little bit longer. So, building up that habit of being there, or at least being consistent, and when you're there is very, very important. Next up is that it gives you a baseline to judge your own growth. If you stream, a regular amount around the same hours consistently across a period of time, you can look at that and see, am I growing? Am I not growing? What is working? What is not working? What was I playing then? But if it's really scattered, it's very difficult to do that, right? So that's why consistency is so important in this regard is that you can't really judge where you're going off of where you've been if where you've been has been very sporadic all over the place. You can't really figure out what your baseline is. In addition, consistency is a part of self-discipline and self-control, which you really need in almost any area of life, but it will help you push through those tough spots. Maybe when things aren't going as well, viewership's dipped a little bit, it's a slower week, you'll be able to push through those because you're consistent and you know that you can get through it by just continuing to do the right things. In terms of how consistency was helped me in particular, so my own experience, is that it has helped people know when they can find me, that I will be there, that if I'm not gonna be there, I consistently let them know, which is another aspect. I've tried to be very consistent with publishing things to YouTube, which we're going to really be focusing on here with this series. It's something that I can improve upon as a streamer, is diversifying my content and making sure that I'm getting a uh, regular posts up on things like YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. And so we all have areas that we can improve, but, Consistency in streaming, which I've been very good about for a long time now. I put in a lot of hours every week, and you don't have to do that. But if the hours that you put in should try to be consistent, right? You want to care about the same amount of hours around the same days, around the same times, because again, it makes pe uh, it easier to find you, which is something that my viewers really like. That they know that around 6 o'clock Eastern time, almost every day, I am going to be there until about 11 p.m. Eastern time. That gives them the ability to schedule that in themselves. They know, oh, I want to catch Heartbreaker stream. I have something to do, but I can catch it at eight. Or uh, I have something to do later. So let me make sure I'm there at six o'clock to catch when his stream starts. Your viewers want to be able to do that with you. Another example is a friend of mine, Luxie Games. She is somebody that when I found her on Twitch, randomly she probably had about 15 average viewers which was a great starting point i don't think she had been there very long but now she has moved up quickly across a year she's now getting 150 to 200 viewers every time i stop in the stream and she has gotten a lot of really great opportunities and this was due to her consistency but it wasn't just with streaming so i'm going to read a little blurb that she sent me so bear with me again i'll put her link down below awesome streamer and uh let's just get into what she had to say Luxie Games said, I would say consistency is a super integral role, not just consistency in streaming, but in creating content, consistently trying new things to keep growing. Nearly all of last year, I posted a clip after every stream, or at least four times a week, and maybe they weren't all amazing, but the consistency means that things I make are being seen, and I have the opportunity to grow an audience because my stream is live almost daily, or my content is consistently available on Twitter. So, going back to that. She made sure she had content throughout the week. Maybe it wasn't streaming every time, but she made sure that things were getting posted out there on a regular basis via Twitter. She grew a massive Twitter following to where now over 20,000 people follow her. She had hundreds when she first started this, and it has continued to grow and flourish because of her consistency. Another example comes from a good friend of mine, Asika, a former Mixer partner, now Twitch partner, had the following to share with me was that 
she focuses a lot on making sure that even if she's not live, she's an active member of her community. She posts in Discord. She uses her Discord for things such as sub-only movie nights and the like, so that she has a consistent interaction with her viewers and her audience and her fans, even if she's not live. Again, consistency can be a variety of things when it comes to streaming. So making sure that you're either active with your, your streams, your Twitter content, your YouTube content, being engaged with your community, these are all elements of consistency that you can utilize some of them interchangeably if you can't be super active on streaming this week make sure you're really active and consistent with maintaining a connection with your audience so that when you do get back to being able to stream you still have a bit of that connection so now we're going to talk about methods to improve consistency so I have a pretty long list that we're going to look at one uh, plan it into your day and week aka just kind of schedule it Again, you want it to be around the same time, around the same days as best you can, and everybody has a different schedule. Some of this may not be doable for you, so just use the ones that you can. Next is going to be don't spread yourself too thin or overcommit. People do this all the time. They say, I'm going to stream five days this week when they know that they'd be so much better off saying they're going to do three, and if they can do a fourth or a fifth, hey, surprise. Or maybe they can use those other two days that if they're free, they can produce content for YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and so on. People run into this problem where they overcommit, and then when they fail to meet those demands, not only is their audience a little let down, but so are they. They feel like, well, I can't do this, I missed that day, and then it messes up their whole schedule. This takes us into the next point, which is, if you fall off, if you miss a day, don't beat yourself up. Get back on, return to your consistency. Missing a day every now and again with producing content or streaming is okay. Doing that consistently is a bad habit and something you want to avoid. So. Don't beat yourself up, move on, get back on the wagon, it'll be fine. You also wanna make sure, in terms of stretching yourself thin, that you don't try to do everything at once. And with that, I mean, don't suddenly be like, well, now I'm gonna be consistent with streaming, now I'm gonna be consistent with YouTube, I'm gonna be consistent with Twitter, I'm gonna be consistent with my performance in games, I'm gonna be consistent with all of these things at once because that's going to be hard. One at a time, focus on it, get it down, build that habit, move on to the next. Another tactic would be to incentivize yourself for it. Whatever you want to offer yourself, whether it's uh, ice cream or uh, a day out or whatever it is, give yourself a reason to push yourself in times where you may not feel like it to go get the job done, to get on, produce the content, live stream, whatever it may be, incentivize yourself. And sometimes you're going to have to do it when you don't want to. By that, I don't mean burn yourself out. I don't mean push every single time. Sometimes you need to step back, take some time off, step away. That's fine. But there are also some times where it's not going to be detrimental. You just kind of don't feel like it, but it's going to mess up your consistency. Use that self-discipline. Get in there, get it done, do the best you can, and you will thank yourself afterwards. So I really hope that you guys will utilize some of these tactics. Hopefully this has been a little bit eye-opening for how you can be consistent because if you're telling yourself, well, I can't stream all of these days or I, I get worn out being on camera like this, now you know that the consistency is more widespread. You can do the Twitter content, the YouTube content, Instagram content. You can stream a little bit less on certain days to do some of those other things. You can lessen the load from five days or six days or seven days down to two days or three days or four days, but just make those days consistent. You know, give yourself those breaks so that you can come in and you can stream on the days that you set to be stream days. And that's going to help you a lot. That's going to take some burden off your shoulders. Any feeling of disappointment when you don't meet that sort of schedule that you've set too high for yourself, adjust course. It'll work out a lot better for you in the long run. I really hope this has been helpful. Thank you guys for watching. You can always find me live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash heartbreaker underscore TV. And please let me know if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that down in the comments below. And I would love if this helped you at all. If you guys would please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys for episode two very soon.